What are we going to do with all these banana peppers? Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. Today we are trying to process some banana peppers, trying to preserve that harvest. Um, the last couple, probably the last week, we have just got a ton of banana peppers hidden all at once. It's kind of a, all the peppers kind of died out a little bit and they all came back with a flourish. And uh, so far, this is how many we got cut up. We have over a pound. And we found a little recipe that you kind of do a little uh, refrigerator, pickle, kind of pepperoncini kind of uh, recipe. So that's what we're going to do. We're just, right now we're just getting them cut and getting all of the seeds and all of the stuff in the middle dug out. And uh, after this, we're going to cook up some pickle goodness and put them in a couple jars and put them in the fridge. So come on, let's show you what we're doing. All right, so we're gonna pack these jars full of these little peppers. And at first I'm just gonna get them at least half and half, and then I'll start extra packing them in. The recipe says a pound of banana peppers will make two pint jars. That's what we have is two pint ball mason jars there. And we're thinking we're going to get about another round of these just like this so if we do at that point we may go through and do a regular like water bath canning for them because at that point that, that may be a little too much for us to eat without just giving them away to people so we're going to try and see how we like these to begin with if you guys have a good recipe for these let us know this is something that's the first time we're making these. Now we do like the ones that we get at like Subway and those type of stores that are kind of pickled. So we're hoping these taste similar to that. All right, so we got everything out of boil, or rolling boil, is what it says to do. And at that point, just supposed to spoon it in. And we pack these things pretty, pretty tight, or at least we think we did. Well, you can really smell those peppers coming out of that. Ooh. Probably makes it a little bit more juice than what you really need. But that's good. Maybe a little bit more. Good. 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 So you're just going to process just like you would if you were actually going to can it. They said to come through here and wipe off the edge. And I have a paper towel soaked with some vinegar. Clean that off, and these things are super hot. That looks clean. And once you get it completely cleaned up, then we're just going to center the ring, put a little finger tight on it. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Come 
Marcy's not enjoying the smell of vinegar. All right, so then we're just gonna put them in the fridge. That should be good to go. Now, do we have to let them cool down, Mars? All right, so we're gonna let these cool down, and then once they cool down, we'll put them in the fridge, and we'll leave them in a week before we taste them, then after that week, they should be good for three months. Can't wait to try them. I will tell you this, I know Marcy and I have really enjoyed the whole gardening process, start to finish this year, uh, from planting the little seeds to, to you know, transplanting them outside in our raised beds, making the raised beds, seeing them grow, harvesting our, uh, our bounty, so to speak, and then now preserving those so we can have them long term. It's really, it's been an awesome adventure. And um, Marcy and I went to the Ozark Homestead Expo this last weekend. And, um, and we learned some new things there. Uh, here in a little bit, we'll show you some clips of what we, what we saw. But uh, a couple things that we, that, that we are uh, definitely interested in is uh, maybe some freeze drying, some of that stuff. I know it's a pretty expensive machine, but maybe one of these days down the road, we can uh, get like a freeze drying machine. That would be really cool. I know we definitely like the freeze dried fruit and those type of items. So maybe that could be a possibility. Plus, there's some other methods of growing we saw that was really, really cool. Uh, you never know. Maybe we can get some of those things on our homestead and show you guys, hopefully, in the future. But it's just been really cool. But let's uh, roll that footage, and then uh, we'll come back and close for you guys. Well, folks, thanks for coming back watching our video. And if you're watching this long, we really do appreciate it and thank you guys. Hey, if you haven't already, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't seen us on Facebook or, and Instagram, uh, the links are down below in our description. Hey, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to our channel. It'll be a great opportunity to do that. Just click that little button down there and click that bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out. But from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.